that was taken away during the COVID time, but now they've made it permanent. What do you make of that? Well, I'm no medical expert, first of all, <laughs> but I think it should be it should be back without any doubt, because uh, it's it's happened over 100 years. Guys have used saliva, and nothing drastic has happened. Yes, a couple of years in between were challenging for everyone, and rightly so that decision was taken. But now it's behind us, you know, by not allowing uh, guys to use saliva. Uh, I think it's it's uh, it's something that should be considered. And uh, if we are talking about unhygienic, mm. then uh, you know I've seen guys putting a ball under their armpit. Yes, <laughs> happens a lot. So that you know, what are they doing? They're applying sweat. <laughs> Is that hygienic? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's it's it it sounds uh, a little awkward, but but I think uh, you know uh, application of saliva does two things. There are two types of reverse swing. I don't want to get too technical, but one is that you don't wet the ball much. You just wet a little bit, and that's when uh, most of the times you use saliva, especially when the ball is new. You only work on you know very small damaged areas and shine the ball. Uh, the texture of saliva is slightly different compared to your sweat. Uh, so, so you you know you, you use said you're no medical expert. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm no medical expert, so that was my first st <laughs> statement. So, uh, so you, you continue to keep the ball light, it is shiny, one side gets scruffed up as the game progresses, and the shiny side, that imbalance in friction, the ball starts swinging, and the other way to swing the ball is, you make one side heavy, and the other side continues to stay light, so we don't touch the other side of the ball at all. So it is always held in fingers, not in your palms. Only when you have to catch the ball, then you use your the palm. But otherwise, when you're shining the ball or keeping one side wet, then you make sure that the other side stays completely dry. So that imbalance in the weight helps you swing the ball. So these kind of things are really, really important for a bowler. And uh, it is, can you imagine, and tomorrow I go to a dressing room and I tell the batters, from now on, you cannot loft the ball. You have to play only along the ground. So it is as bad as that for bowlers. And uh, I haven't played in these conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we played a couple of uh, series, but not, not, not at that level. Uh, but I've spoken to bowlers and the bowlers uh, would want saliva to come back in the game. So I feel it's, it's, a, it's an important element which should be considered. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's lovely to see a batsman stand up for the rights of the bowlers or is that the bowler in you, you know, the, the, yeah, the off spinner, the leg spinner. I got a reasonable spinner. amount of wickets so I would want to consider myself as a bowler because I <laughs> yes, you did. Bowl, I bowled in the nets. I enjoyed doing that. So, so, so what sort of a bowler were you? Were you an off spinner? Were you a leg spinner? Were I'm you still figuring out. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on the condition of the ball. If the ball yes. was new, then I preferred seam bowling. If the ball was semi-new, then I bowled off spin. The ball got old, leg spin. By then, the second new ball came. So I was again back in the action. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> incredible what he could do uh, with not just with the bat, but with the ball as well. Okay, I'm just going to switch gears. Uh, right now, the WPL is happening. Have you been watching the matches? What do you make of it? Any changes you recommend? Fantastic. First of all, a big, big congratulations to BCCI because this is a great initiative. And uh, uh, it, it be, like I said, I mean, first innings was played well by BCCI. Now, second innings, we all have to support. We all have to support women cricketers. I think they are doing a magnificent job. Uh, I'm really, really impressed by the fielding standards, their athleticism. It's just blown my mind. It's, it's incredible. Uh, it's fast. It's exciting. And good cricket should always be encouraged. They are fiercely competitive. And I know how IPL is played. And this is the beginning of WPL. Uh, I feel every day starts with some expectation and when you go back home, you've had some experience. So this is uh, the beginning with some expectations and I'm sure it's gonna leave us 
with some great expectations, uh, experiences. And uh, I, I really want to congratulate all, all the teams, all the uh, women cricketers who've uh, turned up here. This is a beginning of something really, really big, not just for India, but cricket. Yeah, England. let's just hope. Let's just hope. Uh, just sorry, just another thing on, on the WPL. What do you make of different rules that they've got for uh, WPL compared to the men's game? Again, one fielder is extra inside yes. the ring. They play with five fielders excite, inside the ring. Mm -hmm. I would have four fielders inside the ring, so fair balance between batting the ball because anyways in this format, batters are looking to score runs, looking to play big shots, mm -hmm. that extra fielder outside the ring is only fair to a bowler. Mm -hmm.